What's going on? We're doing another What If episode. That's right. What if Thor <laughs> was an only child? How many have we done of these? This is seven, I believe. So there's two okay, left. It feels, it feels like we've done these forever. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a lifetime. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I was watching this episode, and I just kind of decided to let go. Just to be like, okay, just let yourself go to this. Yeah. Whatever it wants to do to you. <laughs> Like you've 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 been through this enough. Mm-hmm. Just whatever it wants to do, just let it happen to yourself. Right? How'd that go? And then this that worked. It, w- it didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think still got angry. I think I kind of I think I kind of tried to do the same thing. Just let this wash over you. Um, it, it, that's not good. It's not good. Feel, no, no, it's not. It's not good again. Uh, let me. I want to go over the voice list because okay. the voice list is actually pretty impressive. Okay, Jeffrey Wright is the watcher. Mm-hmm. Chris Helmsworth is Thor. Right. We got Kate Dennings as Darcy Lewis. Mm-hmm. Somehow, and who knows how, they have Natalie Portman as Jane Foster. Samuel Jackson for a second. Jeff Goldblum is in this as a Grandmaster. Yeah, yeah. Kobe Smulders is Maria Hill. Clark Gregg is in this. Frank Grillo. Uh, Takaki, Takaki Wati. Takaki Wati. Uh, K- yeah, Karen yeah, Dillon. He's like as barely Nebula. audible as Korg in this. Yeah, he just did a grunt. Then you got. Mm-hmm. Jamie Alexander as Lady Sif, who I, I don't even know if she said anything. Seth Green, I knew it. I knew I recognized his yeah, voice. Yeah, I definitely could hear Seth, the Seth Green and Howard the Duck. This Howard episode. the Duck. Yeah. Yep, Alexander. So, okay, so listen, um, Brie Larson is not in this. Mm-hmm. It's Alexander Daniels. So that's interesting. Yep. Um, and then, of course, Renee's, R- Renee Russo is not in this as well. It's Chisette Eels. Yeah. Um, but what? This is kind of nuts. Like the, the amount of money they're spending on voice talent for this episode is just mm-hmm. crazy. And listen, they could have gotten someone else besides Natalie Portman because it didn't even sound like Natalie Portman, did it? Um, no, it didn't really. No, Mm-mm. it did sound like it's kind of like when uh, okay. when they got uh, can't believe I'm drawing a blank on him, but playing Happy Hogan, uh, the guy that started it all, the director. Yes, we know who it is. I don't know. All right, anyway, he didn't sound like himself either. Yeah, you got to find it because it's going to bug you until you find yeah. it. Bugging me right, right now. I will say this. Kate Dennings, once again, is the comic relief we need. She was great in one division. Mm-hmm. She was great in the other two Thor movies. Yep. She's great here. Yep. I hope Marvel and DC, I mean, I hope Marvel and Disney, DC, because I hope Marvel and Disney continue to bring her in because she's super funny. Right. She has great comic timing and she's just great. Even on screen or or through audio. She's fantastic. Mm-hmm. She really does her job well. And her voice is very distinctive. All her jokes were super funny. It was great. I, absolutely fantastic. Hey, while we're on the voice, I'm I'm looking at someone here voicing Topaz. Yeah. I have no idea who Topaz is. Do you know who that is? Me neither. Nope. No idea. Who okay. knows? I, do you, do we do we have to know? Nah, just if if it's like some no. significant comic character that I missed, and I figured you could you could clue us in. Uh, God, I don't know. I okay, probably so just not. For my no, for my limited comic book knowledge, I do not know any character named Topaz. I also, do remember that these shows have nothing to do with the comics, right? Yeah, they're all MC. All. They're all MCU. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, and so okay, so let me ask you, Mike, what do you think? they did with this like why because i'll be honest with you i have felt a very strong thor lean to some of these episodes maybe because of loki wait what's his face isn't listed yeah he he was definitely in here yeah he's not listed yeah he was definitely in he's not listed yeah 100 percent um i kind of feel like maybe because of popularity of loki um maybe that's it is super popular everybody loves him yeah, I mean, maybe that's it, but what do you think they were trying to do with this episode? Like, what was the purpose I'm gonna of it? I'm going to give like, you my the theory on this, and I think it's, I think it's a strong theory. I think at it. this point, you know, picture yourself in the writer's room. Mm-hmm. You're done. You're, you're as done <laughs> in the writer's room as we are watching this. And you're like, I don't care. Let's just do something with Thor. Get it on the page and turn it in. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the thing is, okay, I can think of I can think of five stories right now mm-hmm. that could be super interesting 
with Thor and a what if comic. I'll just list them off. And this is just, I'm serious. I did not write these down. They was coming out of my brain pan. Okay. okay? What if, what if uh, Ragnarok did not happen? Like, what if Thor beat Hela? Okay. I'm, and I'm using the premise that it's only to deal with the movie stuff. Right. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Uh, what if Loki was worthy? So what if Loki could pick up the oh, hammer? Oh, that would be cool. Boom. Yeah. Everybody would love oh, to right, see super that. Super awesome. Yes, super cool. Um, what if uh, Loki really died like at the end of um, Thor Dark World? Like, What if Loki really died? Mm-hmm. What if Jane Foster was pregnant by Thor? Oh, yeah. Like, super yeah, cool. Sure. Yeah, super interesting. Yeah. Um, what if Thor was not worthy ever? Like, just never became worthy. Mm. Right? Well, okay. Uh, that could be cool. Um, and then let's do let's do a funny one. Let's do a funny one. Like it's funny. What if Darcy Lewis was worthy? Yeah, yeah. Cat Dennings. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. What if that? What if she was worthy? And what if she could pick up Thor's hammer? Or Just what, have if, a funny what if Thor fell in love with Darcy Lewis instead of Jane Foster? Yeah. Okay. Great. That's, yeah. And d- dude, we just that was us just spitballing. Okay. So if you get paid big money by Disney to make to write these, like, what are you doing? Like, I just. I, the the coolest thing about this episode was the fight between Thor and Captain Marvel. Uh, we do get yeah. her calling herself Captain Marvel, which I think was cool. And so, the animation again on point. The animation is super rad. But it was kind of a comical fight. Like she punched him so hard that he flew from France to the Nevada. I think right. They, they don't have those power levels in the movies. Like, I don't see uh, that. Yeah, definitely like, maybe, not in the movies. Well, like like we've said, you know, the power levels are closer to the comics in these because they're animated mm-hmm. than they are in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. But the fight was fun. I thought the fights were, were pretty good. I kind of thought they were long. <laughs> that's that's but... one of my notes for this show is that this entire episode is a long way to go for a fight between Thor and Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. And, and it felt like that it, it felt like fight. that is the only payoff out of this entire episode. And the fight was inconsequential. Right. Like, it's like, like, it's not like I have to beat Thor for blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Like, we never really, it's interesting. This might be, so we talk about plot holes a lot. And this might be a real plot hole, like something they de- never came to. So apparently Thor partying on a different world and the world ended when he did it. But then he, so the big worry was that Thor is going to party so hard he's going to end the world here. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, no, I'm being serious. Is that is that? Yeah, the that's the premise. That's the premise. Uh, Thor didn't have Loki to be the party animal, I guess, or the you know the the mischief maker. So yeah. Thor filled that role, came to Earth, but, and yeah. was partying with everybody. And Shield gets yeah. all worked up about it, and they want to launch nuclear weapons at Thor because he's partying. And that would have destroyed the planet. Well, it definitely would have made wherever Thor was at uninhabitable for a very long period yeah. of time. Yeah. No, that's re- that's a good point. So, so <laughs> this is like the yeah. This is without a doubt the worst episode of What If. Without a doubt, Do, are, it makes okay, no sense are whatsoever. We, are we the only ones that feel this way? We can't be. I bet if we I bet if you went be. back to that Reddit thread that you that you did. Oh, I'm going. There might to. be some people so on your I haven't side had now after watching this. I haven't had a chance to go back and 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 hit them again, but trust me, right? Like I'm going to. Here's my. Like, like, I haven't had a chance to. My do. first problem with this is um, at the beginning, Jane uh, Foster is like looking at all these, um, you know, readings that she's getting about this uh, um, signal, I guess, or or energy or whatever. She calls up mm-hmm. Shield. So uh, unlike in the MCU, she knows who Shield is before Thor ever comes to the planet. Yeah, dude, yes. And can you just call Shield? Like, is that is that a number that you just have? I guess. Yeah. No, you I guess if, you yeah, have, if you're no, Jane you're, Foster, you're, abs- yeah. you're absolutely hundred percent right. Like, yeah. Like in the in the MCU, yeah. she did. She learned about Shield after Thor had come. She didn't know about him already. Yeah, so that's like but the this first time thing. she knows. That's we can we can we can we can explain that off. Like just like. This is a different universe, so it was at some point Shield became more prevalent or something like that. Sure, we can, sure. Because like in the car, in the in the episode, we saw the uh, hair carrier, Hella carrier, Hella Hella carrier, uh, floating above Las Vegas, uncloaked. So I mean, mm. maybe in this universe, yeah, maybe there are more out in the open in this universe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, but then, so like the entire writing. premise of this is, 
Uh, Thor doesn't have Loki around, so he's the party guy. But then, like at the end, you know, three quarters of the way through the whole partying on Earth thing, who shows up? Loki. Loki. <laughs> and Thor and Loki are bros. Like, even refer to each yeah. other as, like, brother. As brother from another yeah, brother mother, from yeah. Another and, mother. like, the only difference is Loki is a frost giant because he was never enchanted by Odin when he was a baby. And like, Right, but doesn't that ruin cool, the like, entire premise of the show? Yes, yes. The show has no premise, Mike. <laughs> the show has no press. <laughs> like, like, the title. I, we, the okay. title is ruined yeah. by Loki Thor- showing up in this episode. Yeah, and, like... Okay, you know what? Like last, I I, I had a mental block. What was last? What was last episode? <laughs> I blocked it out. Uh, what was last episode about? Do we? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I mentally blocked it out. No, no, no way. I, I have IMBD right here. It'll, it'll, I did. I did. I, I don't. Re- okay. What if Killmonger rescued? Oh Tony yeah. Stark? Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Now, right. even that one has a premise, like the idea that Killmonger manipulated the world around him. Yeah, I mean, it's to, the same um, premise as uh, his character in, in Black Panther. Yes. Exact same. And if you look at all these episodes, if you look at Captain Mar- Captain Carter was the first Avenger, T'Challa, Star-Lord, um, like, the what if the world lost in my... Like, all these different ones have a premise you could put your hands around, but this story episode just did not have it. Just didn't have it. Didn't work. Period. Um, and it's lastly, it's another plot hole. Uh, at, at a certain point, Thor puts his hammer on Captain Marvel, and like he lets go, so she can't lift right. it. But we, he doesn't ever get enchanted. That that enchantment, the worthy enchantment, is not on that hammer. So anybody could pick that that, that hammer. Huh? Up. You gotta um, explain that to me. Okay, so in Thor, the episode of Thor, uh, in the original original, um, not the episode, the original movie. Um, Thor went on an adventure to go beat up Frost Giants. Odin got mad at him for disobeying him. Thor called Odin a fool. Odin took the hammer from Thor and enchanted it and said, whoever's worthy can lift this hammer. Whoever worthy will have the power of Thor. And then the whole idea of the whole movie was that Thor was landed on Earth, but he wasn't worthy to pick up the hammer until he sacrificed his life. Once he did that, he was able to show Odin and the hammer that he was worthy to pick it up, and he picked it up. But the but Odin put an enchantment on it, so that enchantment never existed in this what if episode. So when he puts a hammer on Captain Marvel and she can't lift it, that's a huge plot hole because she should be able to lift it. There's no enchantment anymore in there. It wasn't just incredibly heavy all along. Well, she's super strong, right? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. You, you don't you you didn't know about the enchantment of Thor's hammer? I don't think so. Mike? I don't think so. You. you Mike, I mean, I knew that Thor so, was sent to Earth and, a he, lot. and he wasn't worthy. I just thought that was an, an inherent, like an intrinsic thing about the hammer. We watched a lot of we watched a lot of Marvel movies, Mike. Like, like in the, I didn't, remember, I didn't of Marvel, remember Odin putting a spell on the hammer. No, I didn't remember that. But but, but that whole conversation and, and we you watched Age of Ultron when they couldn't pick it up, right? Who could? Who and then Vision pick, who could pick it up. There was a scene in Age of Ultron where Captain Marvel couldn't pick it up and Iron Man couldn't pick yeah, it up. Yeah, because Tony it's Stark. incredibly heavy. It no, it's not heavy. It's 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 because like in in the first Avengers movie, Hulk tries to pick it up and he can't lift mm-hmm. it. And Hulk's almost as strong or stronger. I would say stronger than Thor. Mm. It's not heavy physically. It's, it has a magical enchantment no, that no it was one can lift it because it's made out of the uh, core of a dying star. I I've I failed. I have failed. <laughs> I failed as a as a teacher as a as a person. Okay, so just to just okay. to clarify, the hammer of Thor is enchanted. Like you can only pick it up if you're worthy. And there's a certain nobody really understands what worthy means, but Thor is worthy. Right. And Captain America is Captain Ma- Captain America is also worthy. I'm glad we went over this now because in Endgame, that's a big plot point that we have to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um so Captain America's worthy and as, as like a couple other people in the comics are worthy. Vision in the movies is also worthy. Um, and in this episode of What If, there's no enchantment, so she should have been able to pick it up, no problem. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you should tell the writers about that, because they apparently didn't get it. I, 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 I don't want to start trying to communicate with them about yeah. things. I actually saw the writer's name for this episode, and I was like, I'm so close to finding him on Twitter. and just like, I'm telling you, I think, like, I think my theory is right. 
the writers were just like, let's just turn this in, man. Yeah, no, I uh, agree. Yeah. Actually, if you look at IMBD, um, I don't, I'm, I'm going to do a little quiz. I'm going to give you a little test, okay? You tell me, oh, wow, okay. What is the highest ranked, the highest rated what if episode? Okay. The highest rated. I don't agree with this. However, I'm going to say the highest rated episode is the Doctor Strange episode. You are correct because it's the best episode. Well, it's, 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 it's like second or third best. What's the lowest rated? And this one doesn't count because it hasn't had. No, this one does count. Does this one does, does count. count? Yes, this one does count. It's gotta be this one. It is correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, it is correct. Uh, and also, uh, the last episode was, was pretty low rated. Um, for some right, reason, what's number Captain, two? Number Captain, two has to be the uh, Captain Carter one. Captain Carter is a seven, seven, has a seven point one. Um, what if Killmonger rescued Tony Stark has a seven, and what if Thor were only child has a six point eight? Uh, the second highest rated. Oh, what if the world lost his? No, no. What if the child became Star Lord? With a eight point one. You know, I'll give they. I'll give you that. That's a pretty. You know, it's okay. It wasn't as good as the Captain okay. Carter one. The Captain Carter one had really great um, fight scenes the, and and uh, yeah, the Captain Carter one should be. The Captain Carr one should be. I think the Captain Carr one. That's the problem. It was the first episode, so you're, maybe you're people graded that it. one. Well, people graded that one incorrectly, mm, and then right, right, and then the what? Then and the then child came one came up, and then it like they never came yeah. back. Yeah, it's, it's it happens sometimes when you're grading. It's a grading problem when you like some people I know from grading. They don't grade papers. They don't put a grade on a paper until they look at every paper, mm. and then they go back and put a grade, which is insane. Yeah, you got to have a strong <laughs> memory to do that. Yeah, just grade the papers, you know, grade them. Right. Um, dude, the, the Doctor Strange episode is hands down the best episode. Okay. Well, it's the best episode in a in a skull in a smoldering trash can of episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so you you could put it on top. I mean, I still like the um, Captain Carter episode better, but okay, I, I I can see how people would like. Like I said, I can see how people would like the Doctor Strange episode. Are we Doctor done Strange hammering episode on this episode though? Oh yeah, we're done. We're not hammering. I've got this a question yeah, hammer. for you. Oh, good. something good. that I don't, I don't, I don't know, and sure. you should know, being the hope comic so. book geek out of the two of us. Okay. Uh, at the end, we see somebody that I don't think I've ever seen before. Who is that? When a portal opens up and those robots walk through. Yeah, I have a guess. Can I say my Go ahead, guess? What's your guess. Mm-hmm. My guess is that's Adam Warlock. No, oh. God, I wish. Oh my glory, I wish so much that would be out. <laughs> because we I, saw the um, those gold no, people in this episode. Right. Yeah, those gold people were from the from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Were there? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. No, that is oh, that is uh, that is Vision in an Ultron armor. That is Vision in Ultron armor. What? Yes, it is. So I had to rewind it and actually look at when this when that metal flap when his mask opened up, you could clearly see Vision's face with the mind gem on. So oh, that, okay. I, did, so, I did not see the mind gem. If I'd seen that, I would have been like, "Oh, okay, that's who it is." But I, I, I had to be why uh, Adam Warlock. I was like, "Oh, you bl- they're actually no. introducing a new character." And what if? Dude, dude why would you say that? Because I would just die. I would love it. I would forgive. I would forgive. Why? Why? All why of else these throw episodes. those gold people in here? I think it's just something they threw in. Like, I don't really think that they're, they're not going to introduce Adam Warlock in here. They threw everything they, into this episode. Yeah, but it's all things we've seen before, you know? Yeah. Like, we've seen all these guys before. They're not going, if they introduce Adam Warlock, like, next episode, it would take so much explaining and stuff, and, like, they, and they lose the possibility of, of highlighting them in a TV I show. I figured it was, or like, a, uh, the equivalent of the, um, you know, like a post credit scene or something like that. No, just I think it's going cool. to have, so... Well, here's the deal. Um, next episode, we have two episodes left. Mm-hmm. Uh, and remember how we've talked about how they could have an ensemble cast when they bring in different people from the different universes. I think that's going to happen. I think what like, I think this that portal that opened up is is some version of Ultron that has is moving through the multiverse at some point. And I think that the Watcher is going to try to save the multiverse by bringing in a bunch of heroes. From the different episodes we've seen. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to see Captain Carter again. We're going to definitely see the child as Star Lord again. I almost think we're going to see Doctor Strange, like the weird evil Doctor Strange. We're going to get to see him again. So we're mm. going to, we're going to see 
we're going to see quite a number of characters that we've watched before. It How can we sense. see the evil Doctor Strange? Because didn't his his universe cease to exist? It's, maybe, maybe he saved him. Maybe he goes back in time. We don't know. It's, it's a couple. That's we don't know. I don't know. But I'm, I, here's my theory. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. the Watcher realizes that this Ultron is super dangerous and he's going to destroy everything. The Watcher decides to break his rule and gather the heroes that we've seen over the course of the episodes. Yeah, I definitely think then, yeah, the Watcher's going to break his rule. He's going to start interacting with these people, right? Yeah, and then we're going to see like our final big episode. The last episode is going to be all of them together, fighting together. That's what right. I think. So the next two episodes are, they have, a, they have potential to eclipse this episode as the worst episodes of what if. <laughs> Well, if they pull this off, if they pull this off correctly, the last two episodes could actually be the best episodes that we've seen. They might, if the story looks good and the acting and the, the voice acting is as good as it has been, and the, the key is the story and the plot. If they don't make a bunch of jokes, if it looks like it's taken as seriously, if it's on the, if it's on par of Captain Carter and the Doctor Strange episode, if they're doing those that level, then I think we'll be okay. But if it's a bunch of silly jokes that don't make any sense and a bunch of plot holes, no, it's going to be terrible. But we'll have to just wait. Yeah, I don't know. Now, on one hand, this episode has kind of set up the final two to, well, you know, if you weren't looking forward to them blending everything together at the end of this series, well, we've already kind of, uh, <laughs> we already kind of done that with this episode. Um, yeah. So maybe yeah. you have something to look forward to. On the other hand, like this doesn't this this episode isn't a good indication to me that they're going to be able to wrap this up well. Well, I, I hope so. Um, I hope so. I'm rooting for Marvel in this case. Um, yeah, I'm just rooting for. Them. I'm. I hope they pull only, out people and, and, only get and I think we're and, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and remember, I think we're, we're outliers. I think a lot of people like this stuff. <laughs> so I think so I think that we don't like it, but I think there's some people who I definitely that, there's some I, people I, I bet that this is where people that um enjoy the Marvel Cinematic Universe are the most divided is on what if yeah. what if more than anything. Yeah, I want I agree. I agree. I Even agree. more than what's the worst uh MCU movie. Well, we all know that is. Um tell us, have you talked about the worst? Us. We haven't officially made our proclamation. I think what you're about to say uh, is what you feel that most people believe is the worst uh, movie. Uh, what's this? You know, I, I think most people believe that Thor The Dark World is the worst, but it's not the worst. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, you'll, worst, hear, we'll have a, you'll hear what Jay thinks is the worst in an episode that's forthcoming. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get that list. It's going to be exciting. I need to list them out. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Um, what if? Um, Thor was a party animal, you know. But there you mm-hmm. go. Such a silly episode. Surprise, Buds McKenzie just like, up in here. Yeah, just the best thing I saw was the best scene ever, and we can we can wrap on this note. Where um, what's her face? I should say what's her face. Um, Darcy. Darcy sees um, Coward the Duck. And Howard the Duck says, Well, 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 look who came walking back, whatever. And she says, and she says, Howard. And like it's just that how she delivered that line was like, what kind of adventures did they go on? You know? mm. like, it's just like, and like, I would love to see a Howard the Duck Darcy. I, you know what? A Howard the Duck Darcy, what if like 10 episode series? I would watch every episode <laughs> and love it. They should have I done that love instead it. of this episode. Yes. Howard the Duck and Darcy, Adventures in the Multiverse. Yeah, how did Give they not do me. a Howard the Duck episode? Do not know. How do you not do that? How you do you just not toss do him it? in like a couple of episodes uh, as a bit character. Howard how the Duck explores the multiverse with Darcy. And they're in some kind of weird spaceship going to different universes, going on adventures, making jokes. Give it to me. Like, I, just, I don't understand. But we don't get paid enough to think about this stuff, Mike. Somebody else does. Right. Oh. Um. How's it? How's it going with the podcast, Mike? Like, how's the reception? How's the people? How's the the different things that we've got going on? As far as how can people listen to it? How what's the what's people's favorite? What's what's going on? Oh man, what's people's favorite? You, you didn't tell me you were going to ask me any of that. Yeah, um, um, I'm asking. You know what? I can tell you what people's favorite clip is on YouTube because I know that. Oh yeah, I know that. Oh, oh, tell it's, us which is it. 
It's the um, it's the uh, post credit scene from Shang Chi. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, lots of people are watching that. That's uh, we're listening want, to. That's it. crazy. Really good. It's crazy. That's awesome. Yep. Um, and where can people where, where can people find us, Mike? Where can they listen to on us? any place you can find podcasts? We're there. I challenge you to find a pl- way of uh, listening to podcasts where you can't find Super Sideshow. We're everywhere. Well, we're. we're yeah, we're on Twitter. Um, uh, we have Sideshow, uh, Super Sideshow at Twitter. On Twitter, yep. um, at Super Sideshow. Uh, you can tweet me at JSlacks. We have a Reddit page. I need to update the Reddit page, but I'm going to do that later. Yeah, yeah Super Sideshow on Reddit too, right? Yeah, Super Sideshow slash on Reddit. Super Sideshow. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only place you can't find us is Facebook because Facebook is an evil company. That's right, and you shouldn't be on there mm-hmm. anyway. Yep, we don't want to. <laughs> we don't want to contribute to that. Do not. Do not. Right. Don't if you if you if you have a Facebook account, you should think about it. Like, do I need this? Right. I is it making me happy? Yeah. Or do I just? It's probably check making Facebook you very sad. Get very sad. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Mike. Uh, I will see you. We, we, we're doing. We're down to once a week right now. So I'll see you next next week for the next episode of, of What yeah. If. And I'm hoping that's going to be good. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm hoping so too. Hoping. But you forgot the most important thing. Oh yes. Of oh, subscribe and, and and share with your yeah, friends. Yeah. Hit that Tell share friends, button, please. Let your friends know. Yes. Just like right now, if you've updated, if you've updated your phone, your iPhone to 15, you can actually have like a bunch of saved um, messages at the top of your message screen of, of your favorites. Oh. And you just, just, just send them to your favorites yeah, right now. It. it takes you three seconds. Easy. Do you like, do you like share and then like hit and just share it to all your friends and then they're going to share it to their friends and then we get to quit our jobs, Mike, and, and do fun <laughs> things. Right. Yeah. Can't wait. I can't wait either. Be fun. All right, Mike. I will see you next time.